Hello everyone, welcome back to the Affiliate and today I'm going to show you how to download Blockfront. Now this is a World War 2 styled mod. I'm also going to be showing you how to download it for the Minecraft version 1.21.1. .1. So it's the newest version of Minecraft. But quickly, if this video is helpful for you, be sure to leave a like on it. Also hit that subscribe button as well, I upload daily Minecraft videos. But let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the link in the description down below to this website just here. And this is the website where we're going to be downloading the block front uh, mod from. So simply when you are here, you can literally just scroll down and you can have a little look at what they do offer in this mod, which is quite a lot of stuff by the looks of it. But what we're going to want to do is actually come back up to the top and up here we can see the files icon just here. Click on the little files just here. Click on that. As you can see from in here, there is nothing in here. Now to get everything to show in here, what you're going to want to do is click on this one just here. Show alpha files. Click on that. Then from here, we will see all the files in here. So this mod at the moment is still in alpha, so it's not actually fully released. So that is why we have to select this option just here. Also, we can search by the version of the uh, mod we want. So if you're playing it in 1.21.1, .1, you can literally just select in here and select the version you want just like this. If you're playing any other version of Minecraft, you can come in here and select the other version if you want to. So it's up to you which version you choose. Some versions they won't support. If we come down even further to this one, they might not support, or they do support this one, that's pretty cool. But if you come down even further, they might not support every version. But for us, what we're going to do, we're actually going to do this one just here, 1.21.1. I'm going to select that one. And from here, as you can see, we can get our mod just from here. Also, the mod launcher, we actually need Neon Forage. So if you don't have that, we will show you how to get that as well. And it's actually very easy. So what we're going to do is, we're actually going to download the latest one, which is this one just here. I'm going to click on the three little dots here, then click on Download File just over here. Now I'm going to let that download. It should take about five seconds or so. And then it should automatically download to your downloads folder. So while that is downloading, I'm actually going to be downloading Neon Forage now. And basically I will leave a link in the description down below to this website. And what we're going to want to do from here is actually come over to the side here. And we can actually choose on the version we want to download. Now if you want to see other versions, you can just click on this little arrow here. And you can see all the other versions in Minecraft. But for me, I'm going to be doing this one just here, 1.21.1. .1. We need to make sure this version here is the same as the mod we downloaded. And once you've got your version selected, simply click on the download button just up here. Click on that and that will start downloading straight away. But I do want to mention, if you want to play any of these mods with your friends, be sure to check out Apex Hosting. They have some really good high quality servers and you can play mods or normal Minecraft on their servers. They also do come with a DDoS protection, so you always are safe playing on your server. So be sure to check them out, the link in the description down below. So I'm on my desktop right now and what we're going to want to do is actually go to our file explorer. So I'm going to click on this one just here and this will load up our file explorer. And in here, what we're going to want to do is actually go down to our downloads just here, click on your downloads. And in here, we've got our two new mods. Well, technically one's a mod and one is a mod launcher. So I'm going to just drag these two onto my desktop just like that. Click close on the downloads folder. And these two files here, we actually need to make sure first that we have the coffee mugs in here like this. Now, if you don't have the coffee mugs in here, you can try right clicking on this file, open with, then make sure Java's here. But if you do not have Java here, that means you probably need to install it. Now, I will leave a link on the screen right now and also in the description down below on how to get that. It is super easy and you do need Java to make this work. Once you've installed Java, what you're going to want to do is come back to your desktop just here. And what we're going to want to do from here is actually load up the Neon Forage just here. So just drag this one down. Here it is, Neon Forage. We do not want to do block front just yet. We have to do that one later. So just load this one up here, Neon Forage. Just double click on this file. Now this will load up a little menu just like this one. What you're going to want to make sure from here is make sure that this file goes to your .minecraft down here. Now that is very important. It needs to go to your .minecraft. If it doesn't go to your .minecraft, you can click on the three little dots here and actually find your .minecraft folder. Now if you need help with this, let me know in the comments below and I'll be able to help you out with that. But simply from here, let's click on proceed here, click on that, and this will start installing it. Now this shouldn't take too long at all. And as you can see right now, it has now installed. So click on OK just there, that will close down. You can get rid of this file here now, we do not need this one no more, so just get rid of that one. And over here, as you can see, we've actually got a new folder with a little icon just here. And basically, you need to keep this on your desktop, so just keep it on your desktop. So yeah, you just need to leave that somewhere on your desktop, you need to keep that one. Also, now what we're going to want to do is just load up our Minecraft launcher. So load up your Minecraft launcher. Now, our Minecraft launcher has now loaded. And as you can see, we have got Neon Forage down here. Now, this should come in here automatically for you. If it hasn't, click on the little arrow here and make sure you can select it from in here. Just select it. If you still can't find it in there, come up to the installations at the top. Click on that. And from here, make sure modded is selected over this side just here. Make sure that is selected and you should be able to see it just down here. If you still can't see it down here, what you might need to do is you might click on new installations up here and simply from in here in the versions you need to look for your neon forage which is just here for me 
click on that, give it a name, give it an icon if you want to, and then click on create down here. Also, one more thing you could do, you could click on more options just here as well, click on that, and down here, we can actually move the gigabytes up. So it's actually a good idea to actually do this if you're playing with mods, because some mods do require a lot of gigabytes to actually run properly and actually to run your Minecraft smoothly. So depending on how much RAM you've got on your computer, you can literally just bump this up if you want to. Now in my computer, I think I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now if you want to find out how much RAM you've got, you can just click on the icon down here, your Windows icon. Then from in here, click on the settings icon just here. Then once you're in your settings, simply just come over to your system and scroll right to the bottom and click on about. And in here, you should be able to see how much gigabytes of RAM you've got. And right here, I've actually got eight gigabytes of RAM. Now this number here will be different for you. It depends on how much gigabytes of RAM you've got. So for me, I have got eight. So now I know that and that is actually pretty handy. I know that now. So what I'm gonna do from here is I just move this up a little bit to about a four maybe. So if you've got eight gigabytes of RAM, just move it up to four. If you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, you can probably move this up to an 8, just like that. Or if you've got 64 gigabytes, you can literally just move this up to like 20 if you want to, but I don't think it needs to go that high. But if you've only got 4 gigabytes of RAM, just keep this at 2, just like that. But for me, as I've got 8, I'm just going to move this up to 4, and I'm going to click on Crate down here. Now, I don't have to click on Crate, as I've already got a uh, Neon Forage. So I want to go back in my Neon Forage just here, click on the three little dots, click on Edit. I'm going to go down to my Options just down here. Click on that and then down here i'm actually just going to move this up to four just so my minecraft can run better with the mods i'll click on save down here now i've got four gigabytes of ram on this uh, neon forage but there's one more thing we need to do before we go any further and that is come over to the little icon just over here the little folder icon click on that then from in here this is our dot minecraft and in here we actually want to look for our mods folder just here now if you don't have a mods folder you can easily create one so i'm actually going to delete mine just now i'm going to delete mine out of there so if yours looks something like this with no mods folder what you can do is you can right click in the side of this folder, hover over new, and go to folder just here. And simply just call this mods, like that. Call it mods, click on enter. Now in here, we can double click into this mods folder. Now in here, we actually need to drag in our new mod. So my new mod is actually on my desktop. So it's just here, block front. I'm gonna just drag this into this file just here. Click on the little X button up here. Come back over to Minecraft. And from here, click on play. Make sure the Neon Forage is selected, then click on play. Now you might get a warning on the screen just like this one. If you do, just click on I understand and click on play. Now once Minecraft loads up, you might get this little thing here. You can just click on skip in the corner here if you want to. So I'm going to do that right now. And as you can see, we have now got block front installed. Again, I'm just going to click on skip in the corner. And now we've got some other little logos coming up. Again, I'm going to click on skip in the corner just down here. And as you can see, we have now got the terms of service or the official roles. Just click on I accept just here and click on accept again. So for me just here, we're in the lobby right now and what we can do from here is just come over to single player and in here we can actually go into our own world. I'm actually going to create a new world quickly. So I'm actually in my Minecraft world just now and basically I've actually got the mods installed. So I'm going to click on E. I'm actually in creative mode so I can just show you it's actually working. Click on the little arrow up here and over here we have got the block front items. Click on that and in here we can see all the items that we have got with this mod. Now if you scroll down, there is actually guns down here as well if you want to get some of these. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we've got all these now. And I think these should work with just shoot. Yeah, like that, as you can see. I don't know how loud that is. That could be quite loud. We've also got some other guns as well. We've seen loads of types of guns in this mod. But that's how you install block front in Minecraft. If you would like to know how to get more FPS in Minecraft, be sure to check out this video here on the screen. Also, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in my next video.